Okay, so Keith says, I'd like to attach a portion of a circle to weld an ornament to form a place to string a ribbon through it. And a picture has been provided here. So I'll give a demonstration of what was described below. The outside of what it looked like you were working with was maybe a heart. I just wanted to go ahead and get simulated that top area there. What I had suggested to you was to place a primitive shape of a circle on the screen. There I've placed one here. And I'll just make that a one by one, one inch by one inch circle. Then I can select the circle and choose uh, to do an offset of this circle. And I'm going to choose an inward offset, of approximately a quarter of an inch or a quarter of an inch here, keeping it round. Then once those two shapes have been created, I'll use the selection tool and I have those two. They're selected and I'm going to group these together so that they are one. Then I'm going to grab the center of this here and I'm going to snap it to that point here. Right there. And now that I've got this placed in a position where I want it, and I could move it if I'd like. Maybe you'd like a little more room to, uh, to put that ribbon through so I can make it a little bit higher. We can also verify if you want to see that these are centered. I can select this object, hold my shift key down, select the heart, and I'll choose to center these or align them on centers like this. Now that I have that done, I can click the concentric circles here and let's just call this your ornament shape. And now I'll use one of these Boolean operators. We could do the weld. We could do the union and you'll see if I weld, then I've got those two together here. I'm going to undo that. And I will also show you on the union, same result there. Hope that helps. Thanks.